This short video is going to show you how to add a text box into Adobe Premiere video. I'm assuming that you've already opened up Adobe Premiere and you've saved the project into the appropriate folder and you're ready to start adding titles. I always toggle to timeline. Once I've toggled to timeline, I make sure that this cursor is all the way back at the beginning because wherever this cursor is at is where I'm going to be inserting a title. So I'm going to bring it back to the beginning and hit the letter T for text. As soon as that text box appears, I'm not going to hit my delete key. I'm just going to start typing. The simple font that's added into the text box can be centered by clicking horizontal center and vertical center. It will put it right in the middle of the slide. Another thing to see when you're looking at timeline is how long this text box is going to appear. On the right hand side, you can zoom in and zoom out and your text box is probably going to look about that big. It doesn't mean that it's going to appear longer or shorter, it just means that we can zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to zoom in to show you that this text box is going to appear for the default of five seconds. That's how long text boxes appear. It probably won't take the average student five seconds to read the words Tower Project. So all you need to do is you can resize this by just clicking on it and dragging it. I'm only going to have that appear for about three seconds. If I've got the uh, text box in a certain spot in the, in the area on the project and I want to move that I can click the cursor key up here and I can move that around in fact I can resize it and make the font a little bit different if I want to change the font completely I can click on the different fonts and I can pick a different font for example I'll pick Broadway but notice when I pick something if it's not centered I can go ahead and center that font exactly right in the middle horizontally and vertically so if I play this it'll show that it plays for two and a half seconds or, I'm sorry for three seconds and then it going to end. That's all that I've got for inserting a text. If I want to go back and change that text, I'd have to double click on it and double click on it and double click on it until I get that to appear. Once that appears again, I can have some things, for example, I could highlight all these and I could say, I want the word tower project to be a different color. I'm going to change it to this neon green color. Or I want to change it to a different type of font because I don't like that font. I'm going to change it to something called chiller. And again, as you change the font, you're going to have to resize recenter and reshape that project. So hopefully that gives you enough information for adding a title and you can explore enough to make it exactly what you'd like to see.